everyone it's cal from cal's class and um, welcome back if you've been before and if you're new to my channel thank you for coming this is the time of the week that i tell you all about my cross stitching journey for the week so she'll get stuck in so i've got a couple of finishes but this one is in my poor what's it called patchwork paw print bag i have to show it because it's the only one i've got because it's got so this one, if you remember, is from the Peppermint Purple Sight Blackbird pattern, and that's the one I was doing, and I was doing it with Trees Addy. Um, I didn't use the floss that they they um, said about using. I used a variegated one that I got from France. Um, I'll put it behind there so you can see it. And that's how mine... Can I get it in the light? See, can, I, can you see? Can you see? There you go. So that's my finished. I think now probably I should have done it in the called for floss, but I wanted to use this variegated. I've never used variegated before. So I did it. So each day me and Trees would pick a square and we we do that. And I absolutely loved it. Loved it to bits. I did have a couple of frogging episodes, you know, because I couldn't get to grips with the pattern. But once I sussed out how they were doing it, I was away. Trouble with me, I go in both feet and then it's like, oh my god, am I going to sink or am I going to swim? Yeah. So that's my one finish. My other finish. Oh, it's so good. It's my Jolly July one. I've only done one. And do you remember I started my penguin my p -p 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 penguin for jolly july that i'm doing or christmas in july whichever you want to call it i thought i'd participate so there he is look my p -p 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 penguin my back stitching isn't brilliant and i think now i'm learning to do fractionals i might go back in and fill in you know the hat and where the arm is there now I've learned to do fractionals I might go back in and just fill that up because I'm not happy that I can see them bits and also then with that I'm gonna like I said to you last week I'm gonna make a journal I have not started it yet but I am it's up there in the processing <laughs> in stage and that will go in that in there as well so I'm dead chuffed with that finish Back stitching did take me forever, but you know, it's a learning curve, isn't it? So that's that one. Oh, I'll quickly show you. You know what I wanted to do this one. I'm not doing it. Nope, not doing it. Because Millie came down after last week, saw that, and that was it, it was gone. Because she hasn't got one to do. So that's the progress Millie's no that way. Which way around is it? That way, that's it. Yeah, now she's frogged it. She did do it all once. She did the whole of this, it was complete. But because I couldn't get the, the white that was needed and I got two alternatives, the first one she used, she didn't like when she put it in. So she went to frog it and then cut the wrong thing. So she decided to frog the whole lot and start again. And then she chose a different white, which she's a lot more happier with. Um, and then she started this. Oh, and she's nicked me a jog. So she's decided that she's going to do that one. So if I put them side by side, you can see what I mean. See? You can see the, the, the little pinky finger that she's nearly completed. But she's enjoying that. Yeah, so I ain't got that one to do. She's nicked it. But it's fine. Keeps her busy. So I'm quite happy with that. Then... We haven't been awfully busy again this week because I wanted to finish the heart one and the penguin. So I've been concentrating on them. So this one I've been doing that I had for my birthday off Mrs. Coffee, the home sweet home one. And how I have done. I don't know if I took any photos of where I were on these. If I did, I will put them in, but I can't remember. So that's... Oh, Millie's had me frame back, so... Because I nicked it 11 by 11. So I've done the home bit. 
and I made a bit of a boo-boo I got down here well I got down the first one here and I put three in a row there and then when I got round here I realized it should only be um, the one in the middle should be missing so I wasn't going to unfrog it all the way back so I thought no so I put, put three stitches there three stitches there three stitches there three stitches there so it's even so it looks a lot better that's coming in it so if I put So uh, yeah, the back's not, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say it's not too bad, um, but yeah, so that's that one, and that one I'm keeping in just an envelope at the moment, because that's all I've got, just a, but in one of these bags I've got something that I can, I can put it in, so that's that one, and the only other one I've been working on is this one which is the long dog sampler Did you get that i said it all in one first time usually i make a right ash of saying that and that's that's my project bag that i made it's nice and soft and oh snuggly i love that bag so that's the one i'm making making the one i'm doing and i'm will be working up in this top corner here so you see so i've done that one i did make a little bit of a mistake and i wasn't going to frog it out and i thought if you can go in and see and you're going to pull it apart carry on but i'm not and i've done that part there so that part and that part there so i'm quite happy with this it's starting to look really good really really happy and i'm really happy with the coat that colour choice that I've made as well on that one so that's that one is there anything else I've been working on no nope, I think that's it on that one um, I need to find I've lost something really important Hang on, let me just pause a minute. Sorry, I couldn't find this material. And then I'm doing... Oh, it shows how unorganised I am, aren't I? Where is it? That one. You know that I'm doing this one? The long dog sampler pandemic that everybody's doing, that we got for free. I got my material! Well, my husband bought it for me because I'm going to have a go at 28 tanks um, Lugana. This is the um, Brittany Lugana. There you go. See? But it is huge. This is 100 by 140, so I've got to get my husband to cut it down a little bit for me because we couldn't get one. That's We couldn't get one 100 by 100 anywhere it was either 100 by 70 which is slightly too small or 70 it needed to be 80 odd um and we couldn't get the 100 by 100 so the nearest we could get was 100 by 140 so we got me that so i think it was about 33 pound for all that but i say i'm gonna have a lot left over because i wasn't sure just to give you an idea that's a 14 count that's a 14 count easy grid and that's a 28 count easy grid so if you look there four of those squares make one of these so if you do a two over two on there so that will make it 14 count because it will fill in those squares there yeah does that make sense just to give you an idea because i was going to go for 14 count um but i really want to get into doing the 28 count so I've got that one to start and I have got some um, to practice on some 28 count um, this is Lugana 
This is a lot softer though, this one. I can't remember what colour this is. But it's a lot softer. It's like um like a creamier colour. You see the difference. See the difference there? So yeah, so that's my plan for this week. If I can get Grant to chop it down a bit, then I want to have a go at doing that. And I'll show you the colour that I've chosen for the pandemic. So I'm not going for black. I was thinking of uh, 550 purple originally, and I thought I tend to always go for purple, don't I? And uh, my friend Trees is doing it, so well, she was going to do 550, but she's changed her mind as well now. And I didn't want to do, you know, think that I was copying her. So I have decided. Oh, I need that material back so you can see on this colour can you see it that is a, a dark green like a forest green five on dmc 500 and i just thought that's going to be gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i had one that's all i had to half a one still in in my um little stash off from something I, think was from, I don't know what it is so I've got them so I bought 10 10 of them from Lakeside Needlecraft to start that so I'll pick that up properly with the pattern and then I can start that one and then I got some flosses which was for this one remember this one that i got for charity for 50p that's gone up now this is from um this is a martin luther king sampler by stone street stitch works and then i've got these are the colors that we need I'm not good at holding these. Hang on, look. Hang on. See? So that's the colours that we'll need for that one. So that colour's gorgeous. That's my I love that one. So I've got that. So that's so I'll leave that out ready to, to kit up. Let's go over there. Didn't get the DMC for that one. Because I ran out of pennies for that one. Because Right, what else did we get this week? Ah, oh, that's got to go with that. That's with that, that's that. Remember, I um, don't know if you see Pippa Brown, but Pippa Brown on YouTube, she was um, using some bags, the bags she was using for her project she got from AliExpress. So I thought, oh, I might have a go at getting some of those. So I've got these, can you see them? So one extra large and one small. Hang on. Those are the same. We've got one extra large, which is the yellow cats, and two small ones, which are probably, they're probably about an A3 size actually, maybe a little bit smaller. Let's have a, let me measure it for you. So it's roughly 40 centimetres, which is roughly. 15 and a half inches by 11 inches which is 28 centimeters this is a small one and the large one is 17 inches by ooh, 13 and a half which is 35 by 40 well 43 44 centimeters so it's a nice size but I mean they're only supposed to be like bag bags just, I don't think it's supposed to be, not project bags, I don't really know what you're supposed to use them for. But they got one of these, um, I'm getting into the bloody thing, what are they called? Slider zips. So, okay. so I'm thinking, get one of those. Put it in there. Put the 
flossing. There you go. And it's see through enough for you to see what project it is. Seal it up and away to go. So that's what I've got them for. So thank you, Pippa Brown. Thank you, little puddy cats. So cute. So I've got them. Then also I got, which I'm not, it's only just come, so I'm going to open it with you. And it's all going this house today. We lost the corn all in two o'clock in the morning, so it's all comings and goings. Because I've got these which are SKC plastic frames, snap frames, 8x8. Eight eight. I couldn't get um, the Q-snap ones anywhere. So I saw this make in Britain, which I got on Amazon. They were £11.98, piece like that. So I thought, well, I will try them and I will compare them then to Q-snap. I can get the work in. Well, it would help if I know be able to get that off there, isn't it? Not looking promising, though, is it? Mm. Oh, there you go. So we've got them the same. Oh, that one that's. I've got my six by six somewhere. Oh, here's my six. This is my six by six that Tree's got me. So we'll have a look. So this, you can tell, this is a lot lighter than the Q snap. This uh, six by six is is um, a lot heavier feeling. This is, so this one's a lot lighter. So should we try and put it together? But it looks like it'll be okay. Oh no, well, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. And then that. And there. There you go. So I thought, well, I'll try it. Can do nothing but try, innit? So I said, I like my Q snaps, and I couldn't get an 8x8, which I wanted um, to try. Because I thought I can. Shut up my phone. Ooh. I could swap. Um, my 11 by 11 and make it 11 by 8 if I wanted to and mix and match do you know what I mean if you've got a longer project a thin longer project rather than a square one so I've got them too so I've got that Was that and then this I ordered I was on Facebook and I was on um Cross Stitch UK and Amy Taylor came on, um, lady on this, advertising some grime guards for hoops. And she is Sid and Stitch on Etsy, Facebook, Folksy, she's on Folksy, Instagram, and you can email it. So if I put that there, right? So she only did rounds, but it looks like she does needle lines. I must go on her Etsy and have a look. Um, so I inboxed her and said, can you do me 11 by 11 Q-snap guard? Yeah, she said, yeah. I said, how much? She said, tenner. Fab. So I chose my material and it's come today. So I've just got it out of the packet because it was just in there as I was talking to you. I should have showed it you in the packet. So it came very nicely in a nice organza bag. So this is Millie's 11 by 11. So let's have a look. And it's very good, um, very good actually. I'm gonna gonna have a look to see how she's done all that on that as well. See the difference and look at that. So that's Millie's and my yeah, it's got the same width as my one that I had on my box. So isn't that lovely? And it's nice that there's um, somebody in. In the UK, so I'm trying to find UK sources like I did for all the needle minders, and now I found for this and cute snap things as well. And then, what's the other thing I was going to show you? Ah, pattern. Oh, well, no, I didn't buy a pattern, 
Oh, it's two, two, well, one I bought, I'll sure tell you about now, but this one I found for Jolly July. This was on it was on free, oh, free pattern site somewhere. Can't remember what it's called. I think it's free patterns. I think it is called free patterns, but I thought that was quite nice. Friends are the magic of Christmas and it's you lot my friends on here that made Christmas really special last year because I was online with you lot and it was lovely so I saw that today and I thought yes I've got to get that even if I don't get it done now in July I've actually got hold of it in July and then yesterday I can't show it you but on Facebook there's a group called Autumn Autumn Lane Stitchery Pippa Brown yesterday tagged me Rachel Ray and Jessie from Miss Lane Pages um, to tell us this is, is a stitch long going on in September called the Dark Queen of the Seas. That's all we do, and you can see on the site, all you can see is like a blacked out picture, roughly, of what it might or might not look like. Um, and it's on Etsy, um, Autumn Lane Stitchery. On I think that's the thing, but if you go on Autumn Lane Stitchery on Facebook, she's put all the links there. And it's a stitch along a dark dark queen of the seas and it starts in September and it's a year long stitch along. You can also buy the under the sea fabric, which is yeah, from under the sea fabrics. <laughs> they've they've dyed fabric. Um there's Lugana, Ada, Linen, there's another one I can't remember. That she's dyed and she's put pictures up so you can see how the dye is taken in each fabric and then decide which fabric and they do beads and that come with the fabric and she does some specialist specialized thread which I didn't realize when I ordered it yesterday so I bought the pattern um so they'll notify me when each pattern drops I went ahead and bought the fabric and beads but I didn't realize I missed the specialist speciality threads I missed that so I contacted her this morning and asked if she can add that to my order because I don't really want to be paying another load of shipping from America to get that so I am so excited so excited so Pippa thank you thank you thank you thank you because she contacted me with that but yeah so go into Autumn Lane Stitchery and she's got all the links on there and then um Pippa put me in touch with a Oh gosh, um, another group on Facebook which I joined yesterday and it's called Highland Myrrh. I'm not sure how you smell the Myrrh. Yeah, Highland Myrrh. There's an M U W -R, R black work and they're quite funny and they do a lot of free patterns on there. Because, like, if you're like me and you can't really afford to buy a lot of things, so you've got to pick and choose what you buy. So, I was talking to Pippa last night and she said that, and I like groups so you can have a bit of a geek with. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't like it if it's too serious. I can't be doing with that. I need to have somebody that can have a little bit of a giggle. Things go tits up. You know, they're there. They'll cheer you up. You'll have a giggle. Encourage you to move on. Blah, blah, blah. So I thought, right. So I um, answered their questions yesterday. They accepted me. I went on there and looked. Oh, my God. There's some nice things on there. Quick, there's some nice, quick, simple things on there. that are going to be. There's a known one which I absolutely love. So I'm going to sort that out later and do that. And then the last thing that I've got to tell you, which isn't cross-stitch related, sorry folks. I said to you last week that Rachel, Ray, um, Heike from Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, um, Jessie from Miss Laid Pages, and I do apologise, Pippa, because I forgot to mention Pippa and Pippa Brown, all enabled me to have a go at knitting because they keep showing what they're knitting what wools they're getting and all this and because I got some wool if you know last week I said I got some wool from my mum's um, home which she's not going to be able to use now because of her own dementia so I'm practicing so I bought these six by six needles and I showed you how much I did last week which was which was down here so I've done all that. So I've marked it. That's how much I did the other day from there to there. I had a really good day the other day doing it. And then yesterday I did from there to there. But I've had to undo 
probably about three or four times because I keep dropping a stitch and then I've noticed but I'm not going to unfrog it all again where is it let me find where's that stitch I've done two stitches I think it's when I dropped them and tried to pick them up again and I didn't pick them up correctly can you see them there one there and one there so it's in the I say I'm not, but I am going to. I think now I notice it's two. I thought it was only one. It's in the same row. Because what I was doing is doing it when I'm tired. And you shouldn't be doing it when you're tired. So I'm going to un... Yeah, I'm going to undo all that. Because that's going to annoy me that I know there's two stitches there. Now, I don't know whether that's a normal thing for somebody that's learning to stitch. That they drop stitches and haven't realised. But it's not that I've dropped, I've dropped a stitch, but I can still see it and I still could be able to, I've still got my 50 stitches, so I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. But now I know what to look for to see that there's a stitch missing. Do you know what I mean? So I think I might undo it all and start again from that. Because it is from the row that I'm first marked when I was, but yeah, but you know, this is what I'm doing this for is to learn. So I got them, then I told you I'd ordered some needles for the shawl that I wanted. Now if I do can't figure out how to do it, or can't get the hang of it, somebody else, Claire Phillips, has offered to take the wall and do it for me, bless her. Which if I keep dropping um, stitches the way I've dropped them on there, then yeah, which might have to. So I bought, invested in these, 10 99 for one, two, three, four five different sets and they are 40 inches from tip to tip so I'm going to have a go with these because I'm wondering whether it's um, these because they don't slide up and down on these very well they, they catch all the time on this right and they don't slide so I think I might transfer them onto the metal ones and see how the metal ones are and see if that's any better so I've got them, but I need to get a smaller pair of metal because these are too big because the cable's 40 centimetres, 40 inches from end to end. And that one's only, I can't remember what that one was, from end to end. I think it was, no, I can't remember. And then I've got my stitch markers. But I want to get, because Janice on my, I can't think of Janice, sorry, I can't think of me, put an Etsy store up. With loads and loads of these on. So I've got 20 odd marked out that I like. Yeah. So that could be another purchase. But I like these as well. So I thought I can put them on. I, what I want to do is put them on like this. And in a week. So now I'll mark. I'll go back to that one. And start from there. This week. So I know that's from this week. I'll take that one out. And then I can see what progress I've made each day. And we're going to do it like that. So yeah, oh, and that was the other thing I was going to show you, my pot. <laughs> I've noticed that it's in some of my videos and they must have said, God, she's a greedy cow, eating all these Pringles all the time. It's not, it's my cotton. But I think I'm going to decorate it because it does look a bit unsightly, doesn't it? Just thing, so I might cover it with some fabric or something. But yeah, that's my, my cotton. Cotton stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Okay then, I think that's it for this week. If you want me to try or look at something, just let me know. As I say, I am purely a learner. I haven't been doing it long, so everything's a learning curve for me at the moment. But I am loving it, and I'm going to keep going as long as I can. So all that's left to say is if you like what you see, I hope you come back next week. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, you might think about pushing the old button down below. And by the side of it is a ding-a-ling bell. And that'll tell you when I go live, which is usually on a Sunday, and, and when I put different videos up, which is a couple of times a week. So, sorry, I heard something there, and I thought, what's that noise? You know, when you hear something, you think, oh, what's that? That door's open. Um, back door, I mean. So, yeah, so if you want to leave a comment down below, all my details are down below. But most importantly, please, please take care and stay safe and I love you all and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.